Welcome, 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 Soul Tribe. This is Queen here, back here again with another general intuitive read. Hope everyone's enjoying their day, having an amazing day. All right, um, let's tap right in and see what messages the Divine Spirit has for us. All right, Cosmic Gods and Goddesses, we're going to um, just remember to take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. So what's the energy here, Holy Spirit? What does the collective need to know? What does it need to be aware of at this time? From you, through me, Holy Spirit, please. And thank you for your divine presence in this reading. Thank you for all the likes, the shares, the subscribes. I see you. I thank you. I appreciate you. Much gratitude. And if this is your first time here, welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hope you find something here that's helpful. So, I don't know. Hmm. I'm getting that. Hmm. Somebody's very curious about something. The energy here is about, you know, you're maybe curious about somebody or somebody's curious about you. There's some distrust here um, of some sort or somebody's been kept in the dark about something here. So let's see what this is, collective. So this is the energy, okay? Like, yeah, something's going on that somebody needs to know about, Okay. Somebody's being kept in the dark, okay? Somebody's not trusting somebody here. So what is this Holy Spirit? What do they need to know? Maybe somebody's pretending to be something that they're not, or... I don't know. They Maybe they're hiding something that they did to someone. Hmm. Or somebody's curious about who somebody really is because they feel like they've been fake around them or something like that. Or like, you know, like... Well, what's the reason for you being, you know, like acting like that? I mean, I don't know. I'm getting something like that. So what's your Holy Spirit? What's here for the collective? What's here for the collective Holy Spirit, please? And thank you. Yeah, we got initiative, loyalty, and pendulum. Wow. Now, somebody's very optimistic about something here, right? Or maybe uh, somebody's been kept in the dark that somebody's about to propose to them or whatever, you know. Um, wow. That could be one thing, okay. Um, and they're wondering if it's going to happen and when, what time is going to happen or are they going to do it? Are they going to propose? Are they not going to propose? Okay, um, and somebody's very curious about something like that here, or uh, whatever. Then we have, um, also the energy of somebody feels like they're being judged, okay, like somebody, somebody is not trusting them, or something like that here, um, about whether or not they love them, or are they going to tie the knot or not, okay? Are they going to tie the knot or not? Are they willing to tie the knot with me or not? You know, it's what I'm hearing, okay? So, somebody needs to. To be certain of something here. Okay. Somebody needs to be certain of something here. Alright. Somebody needs answers. I'm hearing somebody needs answers about a relationship here. Okay. Wow. So let's see. Um, what else we can put on this energy here? Holy Spirit, what else do you have for us here? Why is the initiative here? Holy Spirit. Let's see. But somebody wants to know. Somebody's pretending. That's too many. Somebody wants to know if somebody's really um one to tie the knot, one to propose to them, or when are they gonna propose to them? Like somebody's really curious about this here. Okay. Wow. Somebody's recovering from a heartbreak as well here. Alright, if somebody wants somebody uh that's gonna be dedicated, you know, like I don't know. They, their primary focus is dedication. Like they've just healed from from a heartache. Okay, they're wondering if the person they're with now, um, wow, is going to actually propose to them or not. They need to know with certainty if this is going to happen here. So, what's your Holy Spirit? We got guardian. So. I'm getting this person is guarding their heart here. Okay. 
I mean, it's almost like they're praying for a miracle. Like, this is the right person for them. All right. Like, they don't want to go through another heartbreak. Okay. They feel like this person is a match for them, but still they need to be certain. They need to be certain. So that's where curiosity comes in. Like, this person, um, I don't know, they, they feel like there's something missing. I don't know. What, what's, what, what are they feeling, Holy Spirit? I don't know. Could be dealing with a with an earth sign here towards a Virgo Capricorn. They feel like something's missing here. I mean, the, the, the sexual chemistry is there, the intimacy, intimacy is there, but they're not... They need to be certain outside of the sexual chemistry. You know, is there something more? Like, wow. And like I said, somebody's waiting for somebody to propose to them. Okay. Well, maybe you know, the, the sexual chemistry is fine. You know, this is somebody they can feel grounded with. All right. Somebody that they have a lot of love for. You know, they see a lot of hope in this relationship here. But there's something they need to know for certain. Okay, so they're, they're curious, all right? So this is causing, like, they just healed from a heartbreak is what I'm seeing here, okay? And this person needs help in that area, like, where they can be able to trust this person. They need to know if they can trust this person or not. So what's your Holy Spirit? We got to communicate. Maybe, um, I don't know, um... Maybe in the past you tried to work it out where somebody had broke your heart or whatever where you, where you thought somebody was going to be loyal. This time you want thing and they weren't. They turned out not to be loyal. And this time you want to communicate with your partner, you know, um, to make sure you're not judging them uh, based off your last relationship or something like that. Okay. What else is here? But you want to talk about it. Okay. You want to talk about it. And if this is somebody that you're getting back with that broke your heart um, in the past or, you know, broke the trust or whatever, you know, you're wondering if you could trust this person again. All right. You're willing to, to work it out. Okay. Hmm. For certain, somebody's going to be traveling uh, soon. You could be traveling to see this person or to talk with this person or to work something out with this person. Okay. But yeah. There's some movement here. What else is here in this relationship? There's some movement. All right, there's some healing going on. Somebody's healing from a heartbreak. Or somebody's willing to forgive somebody that broke their heart. All right. There's a lot of sexual chemistry between these two people. May have had some rough bumps or something along, you know, the way in your relationship. But I'm also getting that somebody wants to uh, strive to be the best version of themselves that they can be for their person at this time. Okay, so yeah, um, I'm hearing like two hearts beat as one. All right, somebody's certain this time. Some, somebody's going towards somebody with certainty. You know, like they're taking the initiative to let this person know that it's all about loyalty. Okay, or you're letting them know it's all about loyalty. It's not just about sexual chemistry. All right, you want to be grounded with this person. You're going to be letting them know here. You may be traveling towards this person. This person may be traveling towards you. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. What else is here, Holy Spirit? Hmm. And this is the right time because it's in the reverse, okay? So this is the right time, okay, for whoever's looking for this uh, information. Spirit said this is the right time, you know, <laughs> strive for it or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Um, if you need help, ask for it, okay? But if you want to know if this person is de dedicated, you know, ask for it, manifest it, all right? Is what I'm getting here. What else is here, Holy Spirit? But definitely, definitely, you need to communicate how you feel. Okay, if you have questions, if you feel like you're in the dark, uh, you're still curious about this person, or you want to know if this person is going to propose to you, you know, um, now's the right time to ask the questions. Okay, is what I'm getting here. If you want certainty, now's the right time to ask questions. All right, no need to go back and forth, you know, in your head, you know, wondering, you know, if this is going to happen or not, if this is. If this person is going to propose or not, or if this is the person you should be with, you know, because you have a strong sexual chemistry with this person or not, you know, the best thing to do is communicate. And now is the right time to do that communicating with your person, okay? Or your person is going to be coming towards you to communicate with you. Check how it resonates. Clear where Ghost Spirit said. Yeah, because somebody's being very, very cautious here. Okay. <laughs> 
somebody's protecting their heart because I'm saying I'm saying that somebody recovered from a heartbreak in the past or recovered from this person breaking their heart or causing some type of distrust in the past. Okay, so now they're curious about if if this if this person is going to um, do the same thing. All right, so wow, you want to know if this person's being for real or are they pretending again to be loyal to you here? For some of you, okay. Wow. Ask questions. Communicate. Spirit is saying, okay, now is the right time. You know, you're healing from a heartbreak. All right. You're ready to move on. You're ready to move forward. Spirit is saying, now is the right time. Bottom of the deck, it says, yes. Okay. Luck is on your side, whoever you are. Luck is on your side. Okay. You could be dealing with a Cancer or a Scorpio or Pisces, um, a water sign. Okay. Somebody definitely has their eyes set on somebody. <laughs> All right, collective. I see. I don't know. With this, with this reading, I see like a proposal. I actually see marriage. I actually see marriage. Like, you know that kiss after you know you say I do. You know I can actually visualize that. So this, whatever this is right here, is gonna uh, evolve into a marriage. Okay. If you're not married already. Okay, this, this person that you did just marry, they're going to be loyal to you. Okay, I'm hearing they're not holding back this time. They're taking the initiative. They're not holding back to be loyal. And they mean it. Open your heart. Spirit is like, you know, it's okay to open your heart to this person. Even though, you know, you feel like you're in the dark about some things or whatever. Now is the right time. You know what I'm saying? You know, curiosity, they say, you know, curiosity kills a cat or whatever. Like, you know, instead of snooping around this person, the spirit say, just communicate with them, you know. Like, communicate with them. Like, open up your heart and, you know, I don't know. Now is the right time. All right? I mean, wow. Tell them about how, how, how you feel, you know, as far as um, if this is a proposal or something like that. Any areas in your life that you need help with, you know, like you need healing from or whatever, you know, we all have our little personal things we need to heal from. Um, share that with your partner. Okay. This, this will aid in the uh, relationship. Okay. This will aid in the healing that you may need to do or that your person may need to do. But yeah, there's definitely a conversation that, that, that should be had. Okay. Um, I'm getting that the, the, the sexual chemistry is great. All right. But, and the passion is there. All right, what else is here? Just uh, if you open up your heart and communicate, you know, you attract more love that way from this person. Okay, from the person that you're thinking about. Anything else here, Spirit? Please and thank you. You could be any sign, but those signs I was strongly picking up on. Okay. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. What else is out here? Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. What else is here? Holy Spirit. I mean, I'm getting that you guys have a great time together. Like, you could be traveling soon. You could be planning some type of trip. Um, or just going somewhere together, you know, to have some fun or something like that. What else is here, Spirit? Yeah, you and your partner may be at a distance uh, right now, physically or emotionally. I mean, that's why, you know, if it's, if it's physically... This guy, this this person is either going to be traveling towards you or you're going to be traveling towards this person to go see this person. If it's emotionally, you guys are going to communicate. Okay. Um, and when you do, just, you know, open up your heart or your person's going to open up their heart to you. Okay. Give us some time. Give us some time. It's going to happen in divine timing. Okay. Because there's definitely a, 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 a proposal, a, a wedding. I'm seeing a wedding here. A wedding. I'm definitely seeing a wedding here for somebody. Yeah, things are about to get serious in this relationship. Okay. But everything in divine timing. So just let things flow naturally. Okay. Remember to communicate. All right. And with this person, it's okay to open up your heart. Spirit say, yeah, just, you know. Wow. Be optimistic. But, you know, ask all the right questions. I mean, you can help this person. This person can help you. All right. I'm saying, you know, it's, you know, two hearts beat as one is what I'm hearing. This is this is for a certainty. Okay. This is for a certainty. Somebody somebody here needs to open up their heart because this, this is the right time. Okay. And once you open up your heart, everything will happen in divine timing. And this commitment is a for sure commitment for somebody here. So somebody's got a definite yes here. All right. 
somebody's got a definite yes here oh wow <laughs> you may have been holding back from your person or something like that or just you know getting more curious you know like things you didn't know uh, about them I think you have a said to them that you need to say or you want to say you know before um, you propose to this person or before this before this person proposes to you but whatever it is it's going to turn out into a marriage it's going to it's this this specific relationship is going to result in a marriage whoever you are you're going to be married to this person this person is going to marry you all right there's a definite proposal here okay so stay optimistic okay about your love life here just give it time because it's going to happen in divine timing until next time namaste for now